Breaking news. A lobster apocalypse is hitting our city. An actual lobster invasion. Watch out for the infection. People are literally turning into lobsters. I don't believe it. Me neither. Total prank. The lobsters are coming! The lobsters are coming! <laughs> I hear strange sounds. Listen. <gasps> My phone! It could be important! I should go answer it! No, George, what if it's a trick? Oh, it can't be a trick. They're only lobsters! Mom? You see hands. I only see lobster claws. No. I'm no. turning. Kill me. Uh, quickly. I'm just a recycling bin, but I've watched you interact long enough to know what loneliness is. It's a space between them and you, you and me. I'm here for you, to make you smile, to make the whole planet smile. and yet you choose to ignore me. I'm down every hall, in every room. I make an effort, but it's too late. 
you walk away. I just wish you'd make an effort back. How are you better than everybody else? How are you unique? Special? That's what colleges want to know. But the thing is, we often translate that to, how are you better than everyone else? It's funny though. That's exactly what colleges do. Determine who is better than who. Why not? I told you. I'm just super busy. Busy with what? You know, same stuff. Club meetings, library volunteering, tennis, outreach planning, robotics, singing. Singing? Yeah. Colleges look for well-rounded people, Ava. So when are your singing lessons or meetings or whatever? Uh... Five to six p.m. every Tuesday and Friday. Connie, last year we barely even saw each other. Even at school, you were always with your club at lunch. I know. Now we'll we never be able to hang out. I'm sorry, I can't come to the mall today. But what did you expect? It's junior year. Everything counts. <sighs> That's what you said last year. That's because every high school year counts. But... Sorry, Eva. I have to go to robotics. I thought you made some new friends. Ask them. I did, but they're just so... What are your thoughts on the skeleton in the blue truck? That truck? Yeah. Um. That truck. It's really fucking weird, and I wish it would move. Oh my gosh, creepy. Definitely. I feel like I have not seen, seen it. it. It's in that blue truck right there. The first time I saw it, I thought it was like a really creepy man and I was like, yeesh! I thought there was no perverts on this campus. Yeah, I definitely was concerned the first time I saw it. Um, <laughs> but but dumb. Then I, was, anyway. then I was like, yeah, yeah it's, I it's mean, a skeleton. carpool huh? lanes. They scared me, and I don't. I don't think it's that funny. Ever, so. <laughs> when I first saw him, like I felt like my 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 lungs. <laughs> What's she doing? What if That's the person who think. owns it is the skin and then the skeleton's like inside it? <laughs> so like the person like goes to bed and he's like floppy skin and then the skeleton's and then he like up, sitting in the chair like and he wakes up and like um, zips himself up. So the episode in Spongebob where like they wash plants yeah. and they take off his skin they put him and put a new one That's in. what he looks like. That's, like, that's, that's, that's what it is. That's just what it is. What if he puts on a different skin every day? Oh. I think he's the janitor. I think maybe. What if it's just like a skeleton and he's just chilling in his in the trunk?
Oh, yeah. I do like the very... message on the back of the truck. What's on the back of the truck? It's like titties. Oh. I don't know what it says, but it definitely has something about the skeleton boobs. So there there's are no... pervs on campus. Yeah, there's no need for that skeleton to have boobs. That's Mm-mm. for sure. Mm-mm. Those fall off when you die. Where do you think that person got the skeleton? Um, Party City? Uh, mm. for sure stole it, I think. You think they stole Can it? Can we just like make it interesting and say that they stole <laughs> it? Like probably it was like, they found it in some weird supply closet or like decoration Halloween closet. Mm. From, I think like, it Howard. was dug up straight from the ground. That's, ooh, it's like real. Yeah. Yeah. It's real. It's, it's real. real. Like I hope he doesn't. There. Whoever owns that truck doesn't watch this. What if that's a skeleton? What if the skeleton is the guy that got drunk and got kicked out of season? Yeah, I think that's what he is. I don't want to expose myself. But <laughs> you're the guy that got drunk. But you're the guy that, that, that killed us. <laughs> no, 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 no. But that letter, though. What letter? Oh, yeah, that letter's like wild. What, can we go back to the question? That letter. Okay, what letter? Literally, like the very beginning. Yeah, the yeah very when beginning. he read it, he's like, yeah. here's what a student that got expelled from CSA. Yeah, yeah, for being drunk in school premises. That's him? That, yeah, he got killed. He that's killed. a student that, that's a skeleton. I think that's what it is. Ah, yeah. yeah. Makes yeah. total sense. So he just mm-hmm. died from alcohol poisoning? No, he got killed. By alcohol poisoning? No, no by, by like Michael Fields. Michael <laughs> Fields killed what him. What if it's Wait, like what? Michael Fields' is, like, last like being? Like, that was him in the past tense. <laughs> what if Michael Fields embodies a new person every day? Wait, I'm shaking. Michael Fields is just multiple people. <laughs> what if, what if she's Michael Fields like right now? What if Michael David. Fields is a spirit that like inhabits different David. bodies? <laughs> Are you Michael Fields? She's just trying to. She's just. And Michael Fields is water. just trying to like Bro. interrogate us and like understand the student body. That's yeah. Awesome. So he can like. I think, I think that like, oh Michael God, Fields God, secretly. So okay, here's my theory. Michael Fields secretly like embodies a student every single day and tries to live like them and we only see him in like performances and stuff because he like zips into his new skin like her theory Whoa. Michael Fields scares me <laughs> what was the question again? <laughs> maybe he's gotten see the dent in the front of that car maybe he's gotten in so many car crashes that he's collected all the bones from the bodies he's killed and put them together into this skeleton How are you different than everybody else? How are you unique, special? That's what colleges want to know. But the thing is, we often translate that to, how are you better than everyone else? It's funny though, that's exactly what colleges do. Determine who is better than whom. Probably Mr. Newland let us out early. I like it. It gives us an extra five minutes before having to rush to our next class. I guess. Wait, what did you get on the test? What did you get on the test? I asked you first. Fine, a 70. Now you tell me what you got. It was bad. Come on, I told you. 90. <gasps> wow. That's, that's... That's terrible. <laughs> it's not like I wasn't an A or anything. <laughs> A minus. So she just left? Yeah. It was so funny. You should have seen the look of disappointment in her face. I can't believe Miss Harris just... Dip. Well, what else are you going to do when literally no one understands your lectures? You understand them. Yeah, but that doesn't mean she's a good teacher, though. Well, at least you... Sorry, Ava. I gotta go. Wait, where are you going? Robotics. Catch you later? You'd rather hang out with your other friends? Well, you made other friends, too. I 
only got a 1500 on my SAT. I have an ASB meeting. Can I catch up with you later? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you. I hate AP Calc. And if I get a four on that test, Made me drop my lunch. Sorry, sorry. What are you doing, Connie? We need to talk. Okay. We never hang out together anymore. I mean, like we hang out, but only in between class periods. We don't even eat lunch together anymore. Right? Because I said I had to go to environmental club. It's important. Important? Yeah. Important for getting into college. I bet you don't even care about saving the ocean. You just want something shiny to put on your college resume. What's wrong with you today? What's wrong with you? College this, college that? It's all you ever talk about. It's all anybody at this entire school talks about. Maybe you should start too. Why? I just, I just don't get why everyone's so worked up about this. Because it's your future. Some people actually do care about their future. I do care about my future. Well, not enough to try. I do try. Did you really? I invited you to my clubs and teams freshman year, but you didn't care. So, bye. I'm sorry I didn't join those with you. I just wanted to be a normal high school kid. Some colleges don't look for normal high school students. So, I'll go to community college. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not what I want. Not what my parents want. You don't have to listen to them. I know I don't. I just... I agree with them. I just wish things would go back to the way they were. Don't you think I wish that too? I... I wish I could be like you, Ava. Not a care in the world. Have parents who don't care. Go to the mall or to the beach. Binge TV shows to 2 a.m. Walk my stupid dog for Christ's sake. I'm not giving a I'm not giving a shit if I don't get a perfect score on a test. Eva, I literally I literally have panic attacks over Eva, I literally have panic attacks and here you are reminding me that you don't I wish it wasn't this hard to grow up. But it is. So grow up, Ava. It never occurred to me that the exact same thing I wanted was what Connie wanted too. Deep down, I think she was just as hurt as I was. But when do we ever really get what we want? I guess one just needs to accept what they have, and all we have are five minutes in between class periods, for now anyway, until graduation, until 
actually going to college pulls us apart for good. You've heard the saying, nice guys finish last, but you probably haven't heard the saying, jerks finish first. What you have to understand is that girls have and will always be attracted to jerks and bad boys. And at the core, what a girl truly wants from every man is strength. Sure, she wants you to have raw, physical strength, but that's kind of just like a bonus. The real strength and the biggest factor that a girl looks for in terms of raw attraction comes from your mind. All girls are literally programmed to want a man with mental strength. When you click a button on your phone, it always responds with what it has been programmed to do. Girls are the same way, and they are literally programmed to respond positively to mental strength. This is the way that it was, is, and will always be. 